our task as Citadel Asset Management is to provide global private client wealth management solutions. We currently manage just in excess of 65 billion rand of clients' assets. The philosophy we manage money by is that we acknowledge that the future is uncertain and will surprise. And that means we have to cater for all different scenarios and not just for our high conviction scenario. We, our second philosophy is that asset allocation drives long-term returns. And that makes it important that we focus on the big issues, all the issues we spoke about tonight of where in the world, what happens with interest rates, how does that drive currencies and commodities, and you, whether you should be in equities or fixed income is far more a decision than whether you own one share or another share in the same market. So focus a lot on asset allocation. Valuations is the third part of our philosophy. You have to understand valuations because plain and simple, long-term investment returns are very much dependent on your entry price of an asset. And so valuations are important. And then if you want to manage long-term money, the purpose is always to reduce risk wherever is it's possible, not just to run the highest risk, highest expected return outcome. So on a day-to-day -day basis, what do we do in Citadel Asset Management? We value global asset classes, we assess risks, and we optimize portfolios. And in so doing, we as CAM empower the advisors of Citadel to deliver to Citadel's clients best-in-class global wealth management service. And so now I come to the start of your question is, but how do you do it? What's it based on? What's it? Uh, how do you put all of that together? And Martin, the plain and simple answer is it lies in the six P's of asset management. And we have to focus on all of those and make sure they're all in, in the right place always. And then that delivers the end result. And what it looks like, like that, the first is the philosophy. I've just touched on it, but your philosophy determines every decision you make. So clients can know how we will react to certain circumstances because we operate within that set of philosophies. We're not suddenly going to chase something that sits outside of that philosophy. The process that we do, that we follow every single day, every single week, every single month, every single year, that process has to be a robust process that is well tested, that has a track record, that where we understand the causality. If one thing happens on one side of the world, that we know the impact that it has elsewhere. And so when you describe a world with robust, strong uh, economic growth, that we understand how that flows through to earnings, to equities, to interest rates, to currencies. And then you have to be able to repeat this over and over. It must be a repeatable process, not just a once in a pocket guess and lucky guess. It has to be a process that can be repeated successfully. The next P is people. You need good people, you need experienced people, and you need people who are aligned in their personality to that philosophy that has the correct skill set and their remuneration, everything tied to this exact same process. And so that means that the whole unit operates as one. As a investment house and a wealth management provider, you have to have products. You have to have an entire range of products that covers for all the different risk characteristics, all the different risk uh, uh, categories, uh, that covers all the asset classes, all the geographies around the world, and all the different styles. Then, of course, in investment, price is very important. The fees that are charged, they should be fair and competitive. And uh, then finally, we put all of that together and we have to deliver performance. And that performance needs to be appropriate for each product that has to deliver the optimal amount of return for that risk profile. And those returns have to be competitive. So Martin, that's how we at Citadel Asset Management go about distilling everything from the global economy right down into our asset allocation and the opportunities and how we manage our products as via sticking to this process. But how does that all come together for our clients? Yeah, I think, you know, we are a wealth management business dealing with individual clients and uh, inside the business we've got asset management. So that's uh, the major benefit. So 
you know, when you start dealing with clients, you know, you look at the next graph, clients typically look at their total wealth cake, if I can use that example, and then they get concerned about the market factors that we just spoke about. So if you speak to potential clients right now, even existing clients, you know, top of mind is things like the level of the S&P 500, uh, the level of the RAND. Um, do I need to take profit on my equity right now? How do I protect that cake? And that is the right questions to ask, but that's the kind of things that you can leave for asset management. So asset management, just like you explained how, George, that's what uh, the team do on a daily basis to say, but, you know, do we need to include alternatives? Do we need to increase our hedging? Uh, do we need to change our asset allocation? Um, that's the benefit of having an uh, embedded asset manager as part of your wealth management solution. What is important for our clients is that sitting down with your wealth manager on a regular basis to design that roadmap in terms of how do you move through time? How do you cater for your, your expenses? And what you as a client should really be worried about is those three um, items on the screen right now. Inflation is the first one. You know, we spoke about inflation coming. And yes, that is up to the asset management team to make sure that we put in uh, asset classes that can beat inflation. But it is also important that when you sit down with your wealth manager, you can control that in terms of your expenses that you plan for the next couple of years and how you manage your cash flow. So this is where the asset management and the wealth management dovetail very nicely. So inflation will take away a big part of your cake without you actually knowing about it. Um, and that's a very different risk than the market experiencing some volatility over the next couple of months because typically the market will recover from those lows as well the second one that can really eat into your cake is tax and this is not an SA unique thing this is something that can happen anywhere in the world all governments we know are looking for additional revenue sources and again you know that is where citadel especially citadel fiduciary comes into play to make sure that you know we're proactive if there are changes in terms of tax law locally or abroad that we can look at your portfolio we can look at the products and how we implement and say well what can we change to make sure that we preserve more wealth uh, and not just let tax eat that up and the last one is longevity and maybe in the middle of a pandemic it doesn't feel like that but the reality is we all live longer and believe me if we look at the amount of dollars that we spend after 9 11 on uh, terrorist uh, activities the same thing will happen this time around in terms of spending money on on on, on uh, medical research so with COVID uh, behind us we're probably going to have more and more research more and more solutions and that will add to us all living much longer. So the expectation right now is that more than 50% of the global population um, will get older than 100. So again, you know, that's a very different risk to think about. So that's not the risk of the S&P going lower. That is the risk of the fact that if you retire at 65 and you do live until 100, that you will actually be retired longer than what you've worked. That's a scary thought. You, know, you can just play so much golf and then um, you know the money needs to work for you so again the point here is to say that this combination between wealth management and asset management that's really where we start adding value to say well let's make sure that the money that you work for um you know that can last up until the age of 100 or even after that by addressing things like inflation and tax so it is really the perfect marriage, if you like, between the wealth management side, the financial planning side, and where you've got an embedded asset manager to make sure that then you also look at the market side to, to um, create sustainable portfolios over the long term that can beat inflation in any different environment.